completing the line. So we're now ready. Last of the day. They stand well. All clear given. Off and racing. Missing it slightly. The Harrison pair, Jericho Missile and Rationale. Billy Ray's back there as well at MTA. Brooklyn Pier first to go from Let's Gallivant. Caragini Aurora pushing up there as well as they settle down through the first couple of hundred from Speed Dream Prominent. Multinational is next in a bunch field. Over on the inside, Jericho Missile. Back near the inside, Rationale. Billy Ray settling down last. Taxagano. Inside the thousand, they go with MTA calling the shots. It's MTA for O'Donnell. Three Quarters of a length clear. Brooklyn Pier up there. He's looking for more rain. Speed not great. A length and a half. Let's gallivant down on the inside of Caragini Aurora. Three deep multinational. Over on the inside pulling hard as well. Jericho Missile and Speed Dreams in the middle. Then three deep around those with cover. Billy Ray back near the inside. Rationale and the tail end of Taxagano. They're about to quicken here at the 450 and MTA's doing it comfortably. MTA at the top of the straight. Brooklyn Pier going equally as well. Caragini Aurora around them now being put into it. Multinational comes down the outside. Back behind them, let's gallivant at the 250. Brooklyn Pier and MTA are together. A length and a half to Multinational. Let's gallivant. Billy Ray further back. MTA kicks back inside Brooklyn Pier. Brooklyn Pier, MTA. Now let's gallivant. Let's gallivant bursting through in the middle. Let's gallivant. Let's gallivant. Won the last from MTA. Brooklyn Pier and Multinational. Speed Dream. Billy Ray would next in. Followed by Caragini Aurora. Aurora. Next home, Jericho Missile, Rationale, and Taxagano was last all of the way. Lex Gallivant gets home. Four wins now from the horse's last six starts. This Galar gelding. Chris Parnham aboard. Lex Gallivant, he had to really pick up and particularly as they started to rock into the straight. MTA had gone along at a controlled tempo with Brooklyn Pier and it took Lex Gallivant the full 1400 to really get himself going into overdrive and has come away, continues a huge week for Dan and Ben Pierce, Chris Parnham as well. Lex Gallivant beats five, MTA, Sean O'Donnell, number 10, Brooklyn Pier, Stephen Parnham, third, fourth is number four, multinational after being wide throughout 8 5 10 4 the placings for Danelle Pierce Mrs C and B Nile M White M Dessa P Gatti Ms C Adams R Adams C J Edwards A Red Doncic and Pierce Racing the Galar Secret Crush Gilding well he's got this record now that continues to get better and better he's 7 from 14 huge strike rate and uh, doesn't he love uh, this place? He's now had 10 runs here, five wins and three placings as well. Let's gallivant. Wins today over MTA. I'm all the talk as Eda Gelding, Trevor Andrew, Sean O'Donnell and Brooklyn Pier by Magnus from Top Show, Steve Parnham for the ND Parnham Stable. Four and four, 12 SPs. Four Let's Gallivant, four MTA, 12 Brooklyn Pier SPs after the running of the last event. The time, 125.61. 35.36, closing 600 and a half a length both ways, those margins. But at the end of the 1400, he was really, really strong through the line under the vigour of Chris Parnham. Well, he went down in the first narrowly, fired in an unsuccessful objection. He wins the last, though, on the program today. Chris, as he makes his way back in, rounding out Nicopolis Stakes Day as we head back to Brit. Dan and Ben Pierce are having, and what an extraordinary record this horse, Let's Gallivant, has built up. Seventh win today from 14 starts. Dan, has he exceeded your expectations this preparation? Oh, 100%. Uh, we, did have a, uh, we did have a bit of an opinion of him, but, uh, yeah, I probably uh, would have struggled to believe it if you told me this is how the prep was going to pan out, for sure. He's now a 72-plus winner, and he's been so consistent. How have you viewed his progression this campaign? Well, he's a, he's a horse that's always had a... Uh, he's got a fair bit of scope. He's a nice, big, strong um, type of horse. So uh, so he's always got that scope to improve. And, uh, and yeah, look, he's, he just hasn't showed any signs of training off. So, um, so yeah, we've kept uh, kept on going through. And uh, he's been down the beach a bit the last week or so with the better weather. And, uh, yeah, hopefully just with a uh, with a bit of the beach work and freshen his mind, maybe. And uh, we can continue the prep out for a little bit. 
West Bay Platinum Horse with the four-year-old extension. It makes it hard to uh, want to put him out while he's racing so well. While he is going as well as he is, is it just more beach sessions and keep him racing? Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, like I say, he, he looks a million dollars. He's probably improving as the uh, as the weather improves. And uh, and yeah, he's like I say, he's showing no signs that he's uh, coming to an end. You have to pinch yourself with the run you're having at the moment. Obviously, on at Northern the other day, four winners and. The stable's just an extraordinary form. Yeah, going great. Nice bunch of horses coming through, and credit to the staff. We've got a really good, uh, good bunch of staff there at the moment, and uh, that are uh, that are really invested in the stable and uh, and really keen. And uh, yeah, everything's uh, everything's going along very well. With the number of those being three and four year olds, clearly have bought well at the sales as well. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. There is Dan Pierce, stable on fire. Here's Chris Parnham. Well, Chris Parnham drew barrier number one, and he seems to love that spot. Let's gallivant. Chris, today, how did it all pan out? It looked as though probably a surprise leader in MTA. Yeah, a little bit. I was actually expecting Dad's horse to lead multinational, but uh, yeah, for whatever reason, that didn't happen. And I followed MTA, and he actually relaxed really nice in the run, which wasn't sure if he was going to do or not. So, no, I was really happy with the win. How far was it down the straight before you got into clear galloping room? Oh, probably not till sort of approaching the 150 and. Uh, yeah, I was sort of held up for a long time, but once he got out, uh, he, he really let down strong. What about tomorrow's Boulder Cup? A thought on Stafford's lad looking forward? Yeah, I think he'll go pretty close. He's drawn a better gate, so I'd expect him to be a bit closer in the run and um, stepping up to 2,100 metres, he's, he's really going to suit him. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There is Chris Parnham with a word on Stafford's lad, who, of course, runs in the Boulder Cup tomorrow. Tomorrow, Danny Morton was here earlier, and uh, when I spoke to Vinny earlier uh, after the previous race, or before the previous race, he said Danny had hit the highway and on the way to Kalgoorlie, so on the route with Stafford's lad, who, nice push there from Chris for tomorrow. I'll be bringing you that coverage with...